In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to graph parametric equations using a table. The first question reads, graph these parametric equations for t is equal to negative 3 to 3. We have the equation x is equal to 2t and y is equal to t squared minus 2. To do these types of questions manually by hand, you need to create a table. In your first column, you have the t values, which range from negative 3 to 3. So I have negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Another column dedicated to the x, and a third column dedicated to the y. Essentially what we'll be doing is substituting these values into each of these equations and writing out the output in these two columns. For example, if I substitute negative 3 into this equation, I get negative 6. Substituting negative 3 into this quadratic equation, I get 9 minus 2, which is 7. Negative 6 and 7 will be a point on our xy plane, negative 6 and 7. Let's do a few more rows before I fill this in automatically and start the plot. Now we substitute negative 2 into here. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 2 substituted into here. We have negative 2 raised to the power of 2. That's 4 minus 2. That's 2. So we have another point at negative 4 and 2. Let's do one more for good measure. Substituting negative 1 into there gives us negative 2. And negative 1 into here makes it negative 1. So we'll have a third point at negative 2 and negative 1. The rest of the points, if you do it correctly, should look like this. OK, we're now ready to plot. We'll start with this very first point. Negative 6 and 7 should be up here. Negative 4 and 2 is here. Negative 2 and negative 1. Then we have 0 and negative 2. 2 and negative 1. This point appears to be our vertex for this parabola. Then we have 4 and 2. And finally, 6 and 7. Now you need to put a smooth curve that goes through each of these points. So you should have something that looks like this. That's the answer to question number one. Let's move on to question number two. Determine the initial point and terminal point of the plane curve defined by x is equal to cosine t, y is equal to sine t in the intervals negative 2 over pi, less than or equal to t, and t is less than or equal to pi. Then plot several other ordered pairs and sketch the plane curve. For this question, I will not show you the complete solution. Instead, I would like you to try it on your own. And if you would like the solution, leave us a comment below. The video has already been made, so we'll gladly upload it once someone cares to see the answer. Hope to hear from you soon.